Hey, it's Adewale here again. And today we're going to be looking at how we can use ChatGPT to get better, to get perfect training samples for your CC frameworks. But before we do that, I'd just like to invite you all to join our CC AI Content Frameworks Challenge Group. And over the Christmas period, just before, between the Christmas and was it just before Christmas, I believe. Yes, yeah, well, just before Christmas, we ran a challenge. And in this challenge, we were looking at different ways of thinking about frameworks in order to be able to produce more effective and useful frameworks, looking at ways to ensure that your framework stays in line, looking at how you can produce niche specific frameworks and just looking at how to do prompt engineering really in detail and that's really what it's about so just to kind of highlight we all know what prompt engineering is and what we may, you may not realize is that closest copy gives you the opportunity to practice prompt engineering because really what our frameworks in cc are really doing is getting us to learn to think about the best way to put our examples in formats that the AI can understand and give us the best output. And that's really what prompt engineering is about. The only thing is that with ChatGPT, you've got to learn code and be able to use code to pro to develop like a user interface to then be able to tell the AI how to be more specific to your use case. Today, we're going to be using ChatGPT to actually create those prompts or samples because one of the things that you may not realize is that C ChatGPT can do that. And to do that, we're just going to, I'm going to be sharing a specific phrase, a special phrase, which helps you to bang out frameworks easily. The phrase is, I want ChatGPT to create sample prompts and outputs for whatever it is you want to do. And give me five examples of how I would ask for this. And also give me the output for each. So this is one of the things I've been doing recently. So whenever I am a bit confused, not sure how to ask ChatGPT for something, I just ask ChatGPT, how do I ask you for this? <laughs> and ChatGPT gives me a prompt that is a lot better than what I would have thought of. And I'm just speeds up the process. So in that case, that's what I did here. Ask ChatGPT, Chat okay, I want you to be able to give me prompts and output samples. How do I do it? And that's exactly what ChatGPT has done. So it's given me here three contents that I can then put into a framework easily. So I just, do, not three, just three, so five, five examples. So I just did was copy all that examples and go into CC and format it in a way that the CC's AI can understand. So. And interestingly, this is the same pattern that all AIs will use to understand what content you want. So the only thing I've done differently is after adding what ChatGPT gave me, I now added an additional thing, which I call the product label. And this is because I'm trying to keep things in context. And if I just left this and used only that portion as my in my examples for my framework, there's a chance that the AI might veer off topic. So producing this extra label is causing the AI to see, I'm specifically wanting to talk about products, but about this product. And so the AI then puts this product into the output that it's given me. And so that's how we go about getting the prompt out of ChatGPT. Again, it's important to just be aware that you have to ensure that you place the context in after you've got the example data. So now that we know this system, this simple phrase, the thing is you could take this phrase and make it as complex as you want to make it. So that this other example today, where I just wanted it to write and start with a story uh, let's look for the example. Okay. So I wanted the chat GPT to do the same thing, but this time start with a related, relatable story and an IDA, then expound on the benefits of reading the article. So it gave me the example question. This is 
the question and then it gave me the subject line and the body now because this wasn't quite right because it wasn't giving enough content so what i've done was to change the wording to from 250 words to 400 words 400 words and then chat chat jpt is giving me this much words i think this is even more than 400 words so what i would do would be to not spend some time just refining the amount of words until i get what i want bearing in mind that cc has only allows only 5000 characters in the whole example you feed each framework so if you have too long of one examples you may just be able to do two examples and then you have your framework and if you can go three three is the best but quite often i can get away with two so my suggestion would be to keep trying to change that number maybe try 350 and see whether it's going to be short enough however that's been said you could definitely just go in here and delete bits and pieces you don't want let me just put continue so what i've just done is because it stopped chat gpt has a tendency to do that it stopped at this point and i wanted to give me some more so i've just typed in continue and that's i think these two two examples are good enough to start with so let's stop the generation and just copy those two examples we want this too. I'm just doing this to show you that you can make the phrase as complex as you want to achieve the kind of framework you're looking for. So this will be the question for each one. Now, because I noticed that ChatGPT has created a bit of variety here, I like to stay similar with each framework. So I'll say create here as well. An email prompting my new prompt my new article on stress management create an email i think i'll like it to stick this i like to make the question similar just so that the ai doesn't get a bit confused i notice that they're saying the same things but they're slightly different so that might best be the only thing to watch out for that the AI doesn't give you examples that are way too different. So I change what I can change to stick up to some similarities. Okay. So that's the subject line and that's the body. I have a feeling that this may be too long, but we'll see. 2507 characters. And we've got the subject line and body for this one as well. Oh we're under 5000 so that's that may just work i feel this one is a bit too long so let's delete this one so it's almost similar lengths now so what we have here is this is going to be the question and this is going to be the question and so following the example i said earlier on that you need to do something to put it in, keep it in context and context what well, we'll keep it in context stress management health and diet healthy diet okay so let's say we we'll use keyword stress management we could use and then keyword here as well so really what i've just done there is just pick up what the topic is actually talking about in the examples that chat tpt gave me and put that as a keyword in that way when i want to write my email all i just put in is a keyword healthy diet there may be some things we need to do even more to keep it in a context because we could write healthy diet about anything about healthy diet but to stay specifically in context with what we want the article to be the email to be suggesting we need to give it a little bit more context for that suggestion. So what's this email talking about? So this is actually talking about transitioning to a healthy diet. So main idea, and that will be the main idea of the article. So we're gonna have a main idea for this one as well. And the idea for this one is, the main idea is proven strategies 
So by the time you've got your keyword main idea, then the AI will take that, use it to format or create a question, and then it then produces the content. Notice that I'm going from this to question. And really, this is almost like I'm the one asking the AI the question. It's just that the AI has produced that prompt for me. So rather than me now worrying about the prompt I want to create, all I just add in is the keyword and the main idea of my article. The AI goes, produces a prompt that's rele re relevant, produces a subject line that's relevant, and produces a body that is relevant. So just need to put a label for body here. Email body. So this example will have two inputs, keyword and main idea. So depression, let's try. I always think about mental health, don't I? <laughs> depression and what's my main idea? How to, how water helps in recovery. Drinking water can help, helps with. Okay, I'm just coming up with this main idea. Not sure if we'll be able to do anything with it. So why water can help in recovery from depression. And let's see what that does. Yeah, that's good. On topic, on topic, completely on topic. And that's a full usable email article. Sorry, email, totally usable and easy to come to so write out. And let me see if everything stays on topic. Some of them doesn't stay on topic. Oh yeah, it stays on topic. So some, it's, it's still on topic. However, with this one, it's given some, it's almost like it's given the whole article, just writing the whole article as an email, which can be good if it's something I want to do. All right. But for the most part, all, most of them, only just the one, one of the samples. It didn't veer off topic. It talked about the concept of water, but also talked about a few ideas, other ideas that can help. So this is producing a lot better than I would have expected from just samples that I created just quickly like that for this type of email, which goes into a bit of a story and does a bit of Ida and then gives a, a call to action. So there you have it. That's how you use ChatGPT to help you samples for your frameworks in CC. And you can do that very simply, very easily. I believe though that when C when Nico updates CC further in, in between, I think the first and second quarter is planning a major update, which will bring a lot of, a more, much more benefits to CC. We may find that we may not need ChatGPT anymore. <laughs> That's the hope. But let's see what Nico will surprise us with. Okay. So if you've really liked this video, can you just please support the channel by liking and subscribing and also sharing videos from the channel just to help the channel grow. And that brings us to the end of the video. So wishing you a great and lovely day. Bye.